I'm going to ask you a very easy question, and you're going to get it wrong. Who won the first two primaries? Wrong. Hillary and McCain are the big winners of New Hampshire, right? So you got Hillary over here, and she's the winner, and McCain's the winner, and they're both winners. So they're both equals, right? Actually, let's take a look at what happened today. Today, 290,000 people in New Hampshire got up and said, I am going to vote for a Democrat today. And 235,000 people got up and said, I'm going to vote for a Republican. 235 versus 290. And what are the results tonight? Well, Hillary came in first and McCain came in first. Well, did he? If you merge these races together and you count actual votes per person, it goes like this. Hillary, 115,000. Obama, 107,000. McCain, 90,000. Romney, 75,000. Our loser crushed your winner. In fact, Hillary did so well tonight that her one night total is bigger than the highest Republican in both races, Iowa plus New Hampshire. She won both tonight against all the Republicans. Oh, and speaking of Iowa, what, what did happen there? Well, on uh, the 3rd, 240,000 Iowans said, I'm going to caucus for a Democrat. And 120,000 said, I'm supporting a Republican. That is the Republican malaise. So if you take the Democrats and the Republicans and you merge them together, they actually, they, they merge like that. That's how they merge. Obama, 90,000. Edwards, 71,000. Hillary, 70,000. Huckabee, 40,000. Romney, 30,000. So, Republicans, what do you think America is saying to you right now? Well, I have an idea what they're saying, actually, because there's more. Uh, Another way that America expresses our support or disdain for uh, people in public life is when we open up our wallets and give some of the money that we earned to help you get to where you need to go. The Wall Street Journal of all sources, according to Mark Ambinder, estimated that all the Democrats put together running for president this year, in 2007 rather, raised $223 million. Wow. And they also estimated that all the Republicans raised 152, a big chunk which was for Mr. Ron Paul, who, I'm sorry, Fox doesn't uh, include Ron Paul in the Republicans, so you get bumped down to 125 approximately. I'm so sorry to have to take that away from you. 223 to 125 is what Americans are giving to individual Democrats. Now we also have the parties. Who's giving to the Republican institution and the Democratic institution? <clears throat> there are three committees in each party. The House Committee, the Senate Committee, and the National Headquarters Committee. The cash on hand, that's not what they raise, but that's what they have right now. That's the figure that I have for you. The amount of money in the bank. The Democratic committees combined, $60 million. The Republicans combined $30 million. My Republican friends, what is America telling you about the presidency, about the House of Representatives, and about the Senate? I don't want to be too crude and say what I think the state of the Republican Party is right now, but I will say that it's something that is usually followed by the sound... Now, Democrats. None of what I've shared with you just now is the end of anything. We have not won yet. And our Republican friends know how to win. So be happy, but whistle while you work. And if you're feeling any of what I am saying now, I actually do this a lot. So there is, yeah, there is a beautiful orange button right over there that says, Subscribe on it. Push the button. In fact, anybody should push the button. I love talking to conservatives. I love keeping the debate wide open. In fact, Conservative Voice USA subscribed to me. I mean, how friggin' cool is that? <laughs> Thanks, dude.
I'll see you in hell, but I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> That's enough.